Hey, um, I didn't thought of doing this video, but I think I should do it. Okay, over the last year and five months, like since 2022 started, I have been feeling really weird and I haven't noticed why, but now that I think about it, I know why. And this is because I have stopped playing basketball. And that may sound like a childish response, but ever since I was a little boy, if there's something I have done all the years since I was about seven or eight years old, I love basketball. I have played since I was a little, little boy. And then when I knew I was going to come to France for university, in 2022, I decided, hey dude, I can no longer uh, play this, this much basketball. Like, I have to stop it, because I was an addict. I probably still consider me an addict um, of basketball. Every I've played in a lot of teams. I've played in my high school team. I've played in my state team back in where I come from. I have played in middle school, in high school, in primary school. I have played a lot of basketball. And now, I stopped. And every... And I didn't thought about it this way. But this has screwed up my life a bit. Because when I was... My best years of my life were 2019 and 2022. What is 2019? <laughs> 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 birthday, and I went to see my first NBA game ever. I went to see a Lakers Warriors two days before my birthday in LA. So that just that 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 made my year. And 2021, um, I didn't see an NBA game, but I think. I was at my best level of basketball because it was my senior year of high school so I was at my peak ability. I think in 2020, like right before the pandemic, I was better but in 2021, since I was a senior in high school, I was given more opportunity to play so I had more, you know, more people behind my back. Well, over the last... Eight months, like since last September, I have touched the basketball two times. Two times in eight months for a guy that was like when when I played basketball, I was used to come back from high school around 3:30 p.m. to my house, played from 4:30 to around 6 p.m. and then go to a workout in my team from 7 to 9 p.m. I was an addict of playing basketball and over the last eight months I have touched the basketball two times. If you're gonna say that to Daniel in 2019 or in 2020 or 2021, he would probably not believe it. He would probably say, ah, that's not me, that's impossible. And that has to change. Plan is to go to the city center to buy a basketball I found out there's a court in about, you just move the apartment and I found out that there's a court about one kilometer away from my house. So I said, huh, okay, I'm gonna stay here for about a month and a half, two months. What's the best investment a man can make? And that's a basketball. So I'm going to the city center, play a uh, buy a basketball and I will try to play basketball at least two times for well, not every day. I will try to play basketball every day for a good while until I get really good at it. Probably it has something to do that the playoffs have started and my team, the Sixers, swept the Nets. That felt really good. And the number one eight seed in the East defeated the number one seed. And Jimmy Buckets, a player that I saw in Miami play, Got 56 in one game, and yesterday he scored 42 and on the box. 
the best defense in the league, the best team in the league. He has the best record in the league. And he scored against him. So it was freaking amazing. So probably that has something to do with it. The NBA, the playoffs. The playoffs have a special vibe surrounding them. And I think they have captured me again. Even they have captured me when I was a boy. They have captured me again as a freaking adult living alone in another continent. Okay, now I, I wanted to go to the city center to buy the ball. It was closed, so it turns out I had to go to a mall. So I had to go to a mall. It was long gas away, but let's see what I have. I feel, I feel like an eight year old again. I feel happy and optimistic about life. Life is really good when you have a basketball and you you have a basketball. Just having a basketball is really good. I feel really good. <sighs> okay. This. This simple thing. Seems like a ball, right? It's way more than just a ball. This thing has taught me everything I know. It has taught me the value of hard work. It has taught me that even though I may not be the tallest, I may not be the fastest, I may not, I may not jump the highest, I may not be the most athletic. Hey, if I outwork everyone, nobody's going to be better than me. It has taught me the right mentality I should have, not only in sports, but in life. It's taught me a lot of things. Most of my heroes were basketball players for a reason. I admire them a lot, a lot. I have a lot of respect for them. Always when my parents wanted to give me a gift, the only thing I would ask for is to go to an NBA game. Yeah, well, that, that's a lot, but it's the only thing I wanted. Just to watch basketball, have my heroes play in front of me. The guys that I, back home, when the time were right, every time I got back, I, I saw a cara piscina. at least two times per week I saw a game, and I saw them so much, so many times, that when I first went to an NBA game and having them there, my heroes playing in front of me, I was, yeah, I couldn't believe it. <sighs> This ball, as well, has given me my first girlfriend back in the day. Thanks to play basketball, I met my first girlfriend at the park back home. And probably it will give me my next girlfriend. Because this is magic. This, this ball, it brings me back so many memories. And this ball might might as well just be the key of happiness. Now that I think about it, it's just a ball. You may some people may just see it as a ball. I see it as way more than just a ball, because it is more than just a game. And yeah, this is like a love letter to basketball in general. But I missed playing. I really miss playing. And now that I have this ball and I have a park close. I'm gonna play a lot of basketball. I freaking lot. Thank you for watching this video. Just for you to see, I still have both of my shirts. This is my high school shirt. My last name, my name. And this is like my kind of state shirt. This where when I represented where where I like this city I come from. He does, the tree. The tree of Allen Iverson. Great number. Yeah, I brought them to France and everything.